On week three, this is when you'll start your soft foods. Everybody is thrilled once they are finally able to get to their soft food diet. And usually at this time, if patients don't see another bowl of soup, it won't be too soon. With your soft diet, this is going to include things like pudding, jello, applesauce. You can do um, canned chicken or canned tuna. If you want to make tuna fish or um, chicken salad, you may want to mix it with a little bit of mayonnaise. Don't add any relish, don't add any eggs or any of the other goodies, but if you like the taste of the relish, maybe add in a little bit of the pickle juice so that you get the flavor in your tuna salad, but just don't add in the relish because that's going to make it too dense. You can also do flaky fish like um, halibut, you can do tilapia, sea bass, any one of those white fish. You can do salmon, but just remember it's a bit oilier fish, it's a little denser, so you may need to make sure that it's nice and moist when you start to eat it. Flaky crab is also a good option as well. However, I would stay away from shrimp, lobster, or crawfish. Those can tend to be a bit rubbery, and it's gonna be a little bit too dense for your soft foods. Some other foods to avoid during the um, three-week post-op diet, I don't want you doing any ground beef, ground turkey, I don't want you doing any sausage. I would probably also stay away from boiling or grilling chicken. That might be a bit too dry. It's gonna get stuck in your stomach and in, inside your esophagus. A better option if you wanna do chicken is to really do one of those prepackaged chickens like the canned chicken or the chicken in the bag. I actually do not mind if you do a regular applesauce. It does not have to be completely unsweetened. Just know that if you take in too much carbohydrate, it may make you nauseated because it's going to predispose you to developing dumping syndrome. I really want you guys to not start your soft foods until week three. It's very important that you stay on this post-operative diet. If you advance your diet too soon, what can happen is you can have stretch along your staple lines, and as they heal, they can scar in. And I don't want anybody developing a stricture. So stick with these post-operative diets. Your soft diet is going to last for a total of four weeks. At the end of those four weeks, you can begin regular foods. This is finally when you can begin to incorporate more meats into your diet. This is also when you can begin to incorporate alcohol as well. Just know that if you do choose to drink alcohol, you need to go very slowly at first. Your body is gonna respond very differently to alcohol after surgery, so you need to be very careful. So I really want you guys to stick with this post-operative diet. Certainly by the end of week three, you should beat a goal with your protein supplementation. And this is regardless of if you've had a sleeve bypass duodenal switch or a long limb bypass. And remember, your protein goals with a sleeve and a bypass are 60 to 80 grams of protein a day. Your protein goals with a duodenal switch and long limb bypass are going to be 100 to 120 grams of protein a day. Just stick with this post-operative diet and you'll have great success in the future.